Hi everybody, this is Jamie with C4 Depot, and this is a tutorial on City Rig basics, getting started in City Rig. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can build a city inside City Rig. Uh, the easiest, well, the simplest, most straightforward way is to just build your city one block at a time. This is kind of tedious and it takes a long time, but if you want to get something exactly right and you're not building a huge city, this might just be the way to go. So. To get started, the first thing that we want to do is go into our project settings, edit project settings, and let's increase our view clipping to huge. City Rig can get very big and there are things that you're going to want to look at in the distance, so you need to do that. Now, the second thing we should probably do is maybe, if you want to, you can add a landscape. That'll give us something to see in the distance. And the third thing that we want to do is go into our accessories and add an orientation. Now, the orientation doesn't render, but it tells you which direction you're looking in. And north, south, east, and west are adjectives which describe things inside City Rig, so this is going to be helpful to us. Now, if you want to build a city one block at a time, uh, just click on a downtown block and let's just configure this. Oh, you know, it looks like we don't have a sky. Let's add an easy sky so that we can see what we're doing better. And go to the downtown block and look inside the attributes manager and select the type of block that you want. Um, I don't really want uh, grassy Midtown Boulevard, so I'm going to turn that off. And um, I want some street lights. I want some modern traffic lights. Uh, but I want some retro lamp posts. Let's see what else do I have. I have a bus stop. And I'm going to put parking meters in here. And I'm going to put a fire hydrant in. And since there's a fire hydrant, I'm going to add some red curbs for the fire hydrant. And I want some trees. Put some trees in there. So this is going to be my basic block. And look at that. That looks so funky. What the heck is that stuff? Well, these are the low poly proxies that Kyle and I created to give you a performance boost in the viewport. And if you were building a very large city, you would not want to use high poly geometry because it just slows things down. But if you wanted to look at the high poly geometry, if you're not doing something that's too big, um, Let's um, turn that on and you can see the retro lamp posts now are um, pretty high detail. And everything, and you can actually do this with everything, with the trees and, and, and so forth. Um, but for now, let's just turn this stuff off because we'll pretend that we're making a big project and um, we don't want things to slow down in the viewport. So that's our main block. Now, let's just say that we uh, populated this with some buildings, which I'm going to show you how to do in a little bit. But right next to this, what we want to do is we want to have a um, maybe a vacant lot. And so we're going to add a dummy block, which is a city block that doesn't have a lot of features in it. And you can have a lot of dummy blocks and it's not going to slow anything down. So that's one of the good uses for them. Now, we're we, we need to move the dummy block out of the way because it just uh, is positioned in the center of the world. So let's go into our accessories and get an asset mover, bring one of these things in here. And let's put the dummy block in the asset mover and then just move it, let's say one full block increment away and make the uh, dummy block a dirt lot and uh, we can just keep on adding blocks this way. Now, most of you are going to probably want to get something going a little bit quicker than this, so I want to show you how to use the cloner. For now, um, I think what I'm going to do is make an asphalt uh, surface for my dummy block. And for now, I'm just going to turn off the downtown block and add an asset cloner. And I'm going to put my dummy block 
inside the asset cloner. Now, one of the things about the um, asset cloner that's really cool is that you can cut, make a cutout. And let's just say I want to use this dummy block for warehouses and you know industrial stuff. Um, I can enable this cutout and specify the size of the cutout for maybe my city center, which I want to have you know different type of architecture, high rises and whatnot. And so that'll cut that out. Now I'm going to add another asset cloner. And I want to take that downtown block that I, I added in here, where if I can find it, downtown block, turn it back on. And I'm going to put this into the asset cloner. And by default, it gives me a four by four configuration, but I want to reduce that to a two by two. Okay, so now I have my high detailed downtown blocks in the center and it's got all the parking meters and then all this scenery I just use dummy blocks for because I'm not going to really go over here I just want them for background uh, visuals and I'm going to populate the outer area first so let's go into the content browser and see what we've got in there I think we should probably put in maybe some of these low poly warehouses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, asset cloner with the dummy block. I'm going to just duplicate that. And I'm going to delete my dummy block. And I'm going to put my warehouse block inside this asset cloner. And I'm going to also need a, I want to also put some shipping containers in there. And I'm going to drop that into the same cloner. And I'm going to get, uh, let's say, a gas station. Oh, uh, how about some oil tanks so that the gas station has something to pump? And one thing about the brick building, a lot of these buildings will um, give you some different options. I want this to be a low building, and I want it to be like a double wide. Actually, what I want it to do is take up the whole space. So I'm going to turn on full block symmetry. And now we've got the outside of our city pretty well, you know, set up. But what I really want to do is I want to do the inside of the city. So let's go find a building that we really like. Now this deco building is kind of my favorite, but the thing about the deco building is you don't want to have a lot of these because they're very distinctive. So I'm not going to clone this thing. I think that I'm just going to place this uh, manually by hand. So in this situation, Oops, wrong thing. I need to put it into the asset mover. Okay. So in this situation, I want to just manually position the interior of my city, okay? And I want to put one more thing in here. I know this is getting a little boring. Sorry about that, but I'm sure you've kind of got the hang of this already but I'm going to put a city park in here and call it a day and put that into my asset mover. I'm going to take the deco building out since it's already where I want it. Oops, I put it in the wrong thing. Take the deco building out and see if I can find a good spot for my city park. Okay, and there you go. Um, this is sort of like a little tiny city, and we can certainly add some more buildings to make the city center a little bit more populated, or we can just configure the uh, parameters in the cloner to make a larger cutout and expand the uh, commercial area. Now, if you wanted to have a third area that has different kinds of architecture, like maybe residential buildings, or you wanted a commercial uh, intermediary area, all you need to do is add another asset cloner and make the cutout larger for this area and that's the way that the best way that you can build a city and make it very customized 
um, exactly the way that you want it. So that's it for this tutorial on City Rig Basics. And on the next tutorial, we'll go into Auto City Rig and show you how to use that tool. So thanks for listening, and we'll catch you at the next tutorial. Bye now.